Palabra. My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator and sunscreen fanatic. And today we're talking about one of my most highly requested videos and a continuation of my best sunscreens for summer series. We're talking about body sunscreen. I'm giving you a review of some of my favorite body chemical based sunscreens. Notes, I will be doing another video talking about mineral in combination body sunscreen. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when that one goes live. So I'm talking about some of my favorites that I've used either for many, many years or have recently discovered. Also worth noting, these are all primarily drugstore, depending on where you're from, either in Boots here if you're in the UK, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart if you're based in US. I think at the most expensive, I'm looking at $20 for one of these, but most of these range around $10. So first let's talk about some sunscreens I've actually never heard about until very recently. And these first two are from a brand called Rocky Mountain Sunscreen. My boyfriend who's living now in the US was at a Kroger store and he saw these and sent me a picture. And he's like, you should try these out. Note, I do have these smaller travel size that come on these really cute little key rings they do have fuller sizes first up i have their spf 30 in this one chemical sunscreen you have the standard able benzone homosalate octocrylene and this one to me it's moisturizing but this is a very elegant texture on the skin sinks in right away leaves you with a very normal to slightly radiant finish and so this is really good if you're on the go an elegant option for reapplication if it's just a daily wear sunscreen with the spf 50 primarily difference is you also have octosalate added to this and it's more emollient definitely a little bit more rich you are sensing the higher protection in terms of the skin feel it just feels a little bit heavier so it's going to lean a little bit more on the radiant side this is something i'd reach for more if i'm actually like in the sun at the beach at the lake at the park or whatever so i like having the option of a more lighter weight elegant daily texture a little bit more of a rich heavy duty texture but really good sunscreen experience overall considering i'd never heard of them before i do know they have a like jumbo size pump of this for i think a more affordable price if you like break it down per ounce so it does make refilling these smaller options very very practical and more affordable if you're looking at that way also i don't know why in my head i definitely can see like some like Portland backpacker just hooking this onto her ears and earring, a fashion statement that is practical. Next, I have one from Everyday Humans, a newer brand for me as well. They did reach out to me a couple months back, but it was right as I was moving here to the UK and they're like, we don't, we don't sell there just yet, but they are recently available in the UK. They've been available in the US and potentially Australia as well for a minute now. This is their Oh My Bod SPF 50 Body Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 50, water resistant as well. We got Able Benzone, Homosalate, Octocrylene, and Octosalate. This one is a very much a sunscreen. It smells like it. This gives me that nostalgia of like being at the beach. This is a more radiant texture as well, but really fun sunscreen experience. I love the branding that Everyday Humans has. I love their packaging and the titles. I've seen a lot of people talking about these, so I was excited to see the hype around them. And it's a really great body sunscreen. It's definitely going to be more moisturizing and it's going to leave that sheen on your skin and it's going to look and feel like a sunscreen. So just note that. But in terms of how it wears and how it works, I really like the experience of this. And you do have some extras in this that some of the other sunscreens I mentioned don't have. Like you have cucumber extract, green tea, and hyaluronic acid as well. So you're getting some nice antioxidant benefits, some nice hydrating benefits as well. And then next I have a couple options from Copper Tone. First one I have is their Sports Clear, and this is a gel. This is the SPF 30. I do know they have an SPF 50 though. And this is water resistant. The main hype around this is that it goes on clear and it has a cooling sensation as a part of it. Chemical sunscreen, so you have abobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. This one, worth noting, has a very high concentration of of SD alcohol. On top of the fact that it's just a solvent for the filters and then it allows it to be very elegant on the skin. And plus this is a gel texture. I feel like that might aid in the overall vehicle of the sunscreen. That cooling sensation is due in large part to that alcohol because I don't believe there's any menthol in this. This I think arguably is one of the most elegant of the textures that I have here. Worth noting, you do have to shake this. I don't know if you can hear that. It like is sloshy and I think separates a little bit at first. So shaking it for about 30 seconds before you apply it, just make sure that the vehicle is evenly mixed and like all this stuff is nicely distributed in the formulation. But this straight up is a gel that works into the skin so effortlessly. Do you smell that alcohol on you? Yes. Does that smell tend to linger for a while? Yes, there is also fragrance in this as well though. So if you have very, very sensitive skin or very reactive skin on your body, not recommending this for you, but this is a great option if you have body hair. If you have body hair, you know that sometimes working sunscreens into your body hair areas, like your legs, your arms, your chest, can be a struggle. Best option for that I found thus far. And this just sits nice and lightweight on the skin, melts in right away, super affordable option. And then next I have their Sport SPF 50 and no cap, I've been using this since I was in elementary school, I'm pretty sure. I have like very distinct memories of this specific 
packaging when I was at the lake when I was 10 years old. And the smell of this just brought back a lot of memories of that too. This is one of my favorite options for those heavy duty days when you're at the lake and at the beach. It, this is, I think, arguably one of the more affordable options I have in front of me. And this one just works and it works very, very well. This sits on the skin nicely. It's moisturizing, but it's not a very, very radiant like emollient finish. It's more natural to radiant. It sinks in very easily. You don't have to work it in very much. So when you're a kid, this is a really good option. Chemical sunscreen, so avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. Not much else going on in the formulation aside from tocopherol acetate. This is fragrance, which is worth noting, but to me, this still smells like sunscreen. I don't get a fragrance in terms of like it being very perfumey. So I'm not sure what that contributes necessarily. Out of these, it's arguably top five in terms of like heavy duty body sunscreen. Next are some options from Sunbum. And I think arguably Sunbum is one of my favorite sunscreen brands. They have really great products, really great sunscreens, but what really does it for me is the smell. You know, I'm all about the smell. And Sunbum sunscreens have this smell that lingers between coconut, banana, and like roasted nuts to me. So it smells really good and it makes it fun to use. I specifically have their SPF 50, broad spectrum, water resistance. And this one to me is a great option for any occasion. If I were to choose one that's like best overall, it's definitely I think has to hit that mark for me. A good protection value, it's water resistant. So it's good for those like you're out and about high UV index days, but it sits nicely and lightweight on the skin. It's moisturizing without being too greasy for me because it smells good. So it's one I don't mind using every day if I'm just like running errands, out and about, going to school or going to the beach. So just for that, do love this option. Sunbum, I think takes the cake in terms of like my favorite sunscreen brand for the body. But what we're talking about is their SPF 70. And I believe for this specific brand, they have a 30, a 50, and then a 70. The difference with this is that these both have the same filters. You have the avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. This one just raises the percentages, specifically I think of the homosalates. The thing is when you do that, you feel it to me, like the feel, it's similar to the Rocky Mountain. It just gets a little bit more rich, more emollient, a little bit more on that greasy side. So this isn't my favorite texture wise, unless I need it for like those really, really heavy duty days. I feel that 50 suffices enough. But if that number matters to you, still a great option. It still smells great, but you just feel this a little bit heavier on the skin. And I think next is my favorite overall out of all the ones I'm talking about today. And these are from Neutrogena, specifically from their Beach Defense line. This is the Neutrogena Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection SPF 70, broad spectrum water resistance. This is one of the situations where it has that value on there, that 70, which that Sunbum had, but you don't feel that. It's not this very richly emollient texture. It's not greasy. This sits so elegantly on the skin. But what I love most about it is that it smells delicious. It smells great. This is fragrance, so do you know that, but it just smells very light, very fresh on the skin to me. This smelts in right away. You don't need to work it in very much. Sits nicely in body hair. It doesn't get too greasy and heavy throughout the day. Nicely water resistant, but it's not hard to get off of you. This is for me the best experience overall in terms of sensory, body feel, finish, price point, and like protection value. Honorable mention worth noting, and like it's a sister product of that, is the stick sunscreen. This is the Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection Stick, SPF 50 plus, also water resistant. This has the qualities I like of the lotion version. It has the protection value. It has smell, the sensory experience. This is just more emollient. This is a stick sunscreen, so it's gonna have a different texture and feel to it. This is one that's nice to use if you are just going to reapply, especially in like spot areas and you don't want to use a lotion because like, you know, sometimes lotion in your ears is not your favorite thing. This is a good option. On the body, it's just quick, swipe, swipe, you're good. I've used this on the face too. It's not pore clogging. I don't find it's pore clogging. I don't feel like it got very, very greasy and like comedogenic, but it is very emollient. Do note that. So honorable mention, I do really enjoy this as well. Next, two of my favorites I've talked about on my channel for a long time now, and that is the Black Girl Sunscreens. The SPF 30 is definitely the more moisturizing option out of the two of these. And I don't use this very much on my face, gonna be honest, just because it is too rich. But on the body, it it looks great, it feels great, and it melts in right away. And it definitely does leave a very radiant, moisturized finish, which I love on things like my arms or my legs when those are exposed. Being an American sunscreen, this does have the FDA approved filters in it. This one specifically has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. Aside from that, this has some of the more richly emollient based oils. It's a very moisturizing texture, but not a lot going on. Some of the oils do give you some antioxidant benefits, but it's a very simple to the point sunscreen. Water resistant, a very good daily sunscreen option. If you want more protection though. The SPF 50 is a really good option. High protection value, also half the price of the SPF 30. It's less radiant, but still nicely moisturizing on the skin. This is the one I use on both my face and my body. So if you just want one sunscreen to just take with you when you're out and about, especially for like a beach day or one where you're like meeting up with a friend, you're gonna have a picnic in the park last minute. Again, US based chemical sunscreen. This one has specifically avobenzone, homosalate, and octosalate. This one omits octocrylene, which is present in the SPF 30. The octocrylene I generally do like to see 
in my chemical sunscreens because it helps to stabilize the avobenzone. With that being said, this is probably formulated to try to keep as much stability out of the avobenzone as possible. But octocrylene does have some evidence of being a little bit more sensitizing on the more sensitive skin of children. So that's probably why they chose to omit it in a kid's sunscreen. Really good option specifically also for reapplication as well. Next options from Aven, this is their Intense Protect SPF 50 Plus. This is a really great sunscreen in concept. You have a new innovative filter in this with the Triasorb, which is super broad spectrum, great for directive value, but the texture of this is just too rich. It's too emollient, verges on being too greasy for the face. And on the body, a different option. I have drier skin on my body, so I don't hate richer moisturizing textures. And so again, if you don't mind a very radiant, lustrous finish, if you don't mind being a dewy goddess from head to toe, really good option, especially because this retails for less than 20 pounds. You're getting really good protection out of this. And it is also intended for those with sensitive skin types as well. And as I mentioned, this is an EU sunscreen. So it's gonna have some of those new filters. I did mention the triacid already, but besides that, you do also have Evenol A+, Evenol T150, and Tinosorb S as well. Overall, aside from that, it's a very simple formulation, not much else going on. And those filters themselves have a better safety profile, which is why this makes this a little bit more suitable for sensitive skin types. Next option is gonna be from P20. It's the P20 Kids. Talked about this being a really good option and also having very high protection. This has a UVA PF above 50 and arguably an SPF probably close to 100. Very nice moisturizing texture that's not very greasy and it sits nicely on the skin. It is intended for kids, so if you have more sensitive skin, another option worth trying as well. This rivals the event for me in terms of this is a little bit more of an elegant texture. I don't mind putting this on my face, but it's also a very affordable option. This 100 mil size retails for about 15 to 20 pounds. For about 20 to 25 pounds, you can get the 200 mil size. But again, a really good option for really high UV index days. You're out at the beach, you're out and about, and you are sweating because this is very water resistant as well. I do also like the pump packaging. To me, it's just a little bit more easier to like use on the go than some of the squeezy tubes sometimes, so worth noting. And similar to the event, because it is EU based, you do have some of the more fun, innovative filters. Specifically, you do have Uvenol A+, Octasale, Uvenol T150, Tinosorb S, Tinosorb A2B, and Tinosorb M as well. A2B and Tinosorb M are those hybrid filters, so they function more like mineral filters, but they are chemical by composition. And so with that, those are some body sunscreens that I've really been enjoying, or what I consider to be more holy grail that I reach for, depending on what the situation is or what I need for that specific day. But make sure you do stick around, hit the notification bell and subscribe button so that you know when I post my mineral and combination-based body sunscreen video, which will be very, very soon. Down below in the comments, let me know, have you tried any of these? Are they your favorites? Or what other options do you prefer for body sunscreens? Thank you guys for watching. Bye.